But first at six, a portion of the American Families and Workers Act is addressing the nationwide housing crisis by creating more affordable housing opportunities. Yes, the bipartisan bill passed the House 357 to 70 on Wednesday. WMBD Shabnam Dinesh joins us with a closer look at what this could mean for addressing the housing crisis in Peoria. Shab. Hey, Thomas, Rebecca, these provisions come from the Affordable Housing Credit Improvement Act, which is co-sponsored by Congressman Darren LaHood. Now, the bipartisan legislation won't just build more homes, but create thousands of jobs. It's bipartisan. There is a lot of support on both sides of the aisle. Two provisions in the bipartisan American Families and Workers Act expand and strengthen low-income housing tax credits to address the ongoing housing crisis. The new legislation will reduce bond financing requirements and increase the amount of credits given to states. And it really means that there are more tax credits available and they are easy, easy to use. Low-income housing tax credits are essential for affordable housing developers like the Peoria Opportunities Foundation. Executive Director Jen Genzel says there's a gap of 2,000 to 4,000 units of affordable housing in Peoria. But only about 25% of applications are awarded tax credits in Illinois. Every day I get phone calls from people looking for an affordable, quality um, place to live. So in Peoria, in the state, in the nation, there is a lack of affordable, quality housing. Congressman Darren LaHood advocated for the bill on the House floor. We are facing an affordable housing crisis in this country. Uh, LIHTC, strengthening the low-income housing tax credit established by Ronald Reagan, is key in this and will be very successful to bridging the gap to more affordable housing in this country. Genzel says the bill will also create about 6,000 jobs in Illinois. It's not just like a social service program. It does create affordable housing for lower-income households. The other thing is that it generates taxes, it creates jobs. So that's the other side of this, that it, it makes it kind of a no-brainer for both sides. Now, the bill is estimated to build 2 million affordable homes across the country over the next decade. The bill now has the Senate for approval. Rebecca.